So, okay. I'm very excited. Yes. One of my favorite YouTubers, PewDiePie, I think he's like 57 million subscribers right now. Oh, but he did a whiskey review. Yes, we love it when people do whiskey reviews. So, here's what PewDiePie got wrong and, and right. right. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, he was. Uh, we have the six that he featured. Yeah. Right. So um, Suntory on one side and Nika on the other, and we're like. 70% sure we got all of them right. Yeah, no, we're, we're we got them all right. Okay. The only one we don't have is a specialty one he pulled out at the very end. It's yeah. coming down. <laughs> and uh, but that's okay because we got a couple others we can try. So here's what we're gonna say is uh, there's not a bad whiskey in this bunch. And one of my favorite things that he did was call everything very nice. Very nice. Because it's true. It's all very nice. There's not a weak link, uh, so, with well, the exception of I'm not a huge fan of the Nika malt. But because we are. Intentionally, emphatically, aggressively not whiskey snobs. Right. We're gonna talk about all the things uh, PewDiePie got right. Yeah, which is like 85 to 90 percent. Yeah. And then a couple of things he got wrong. The, the things that he got wrong are things that if I called people on it, Rex would give me shit yeah. for calling them on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> all right. He was right. The two main companies making whiskey in Japan are Suntory and Nika. Yeah. Um, Slightly wrong on some of the facts, which are the things that who really gives a shit, but yeah, it's kind do. of fun anyway. And uh, Brian Love is one of our viewers, who's just a kick-ass dude on Japanese whiskey. I've uh, been writing about it for a while, and he shared some stuff and reminded me of some things. We'll start with Suntory. Here's a, so let's start with Yamazaki 12. So the story of Japanese whiskey is that the actual first distillery to get a license was one called, um, and I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, uh, Aigum Shima, but they actually started working on some uh, stuff, but then they shelved their plans. Um, as actually a distillery called Setsu Shuzo that sent uh, Masataka Takatsuru to Scotland to train and be uh, and study Scottish style whiskey. That was actually Nika. That later he was going to make Nika. He goes there. He meets a Scottish girl. She was not there studying whiskey. She was the a girl. Uh, that was in the family. I know, right? You need more whiskey. Hang on a second. What did you think about this one? How many very nices? I think he gave this one six very nices. No, I'm not taking PewDiePie as very nice. <laughs> this is it, is, it is exceptional. And it, but it, but in, if you're going to put it in the whiskey category, uh, this is the white wine of whiskey category. Yes. All of these, uh, well, all, most of these we have up here are in the white wine whiskey category. Mm. Now, we're going to follow this with light, an friendly, fruity. 18 year old Yamazaki. Right which he said for him was $500. Ooh. And it did not cost, cost us $500. We'll send you some whiskey. Yes. Pewdie, you gotta email us. If I pour that amount for every one of these, we're gonna be trashed by the end of this video. Uh, oh, which reminds me. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, Pewdie, the, one of the only things you got wrong was the glass you're using is an aerating specific wine glass. So, and uh, it's a bad idea to aerate 45% alcohol in the glass that aggressively. So in a nod snobby way, dude, Glen Cairn. We'll send you some Glen Cairn. Or you can get on Amazon for nine damn dollars. Glen Cairn. It actually does make a difference. And, and you can pour the same whiskey in seven glasses and it tastes different in all of them. The, it basically comes down to the shape of the glass. and Tulip is the most important. And thing. if it's a really big opening, then most of the smells go past your face. This funnels it right into your nose where you can really get the most out of the the smell of the whiskey. Anyway, so uh, this while mas this one's richer, more alcohol too. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm getting more alcohol biting than I'm those. getting more alcohol. It's 43 percent. It's pretty low. The Yamazaki 12 is same. So um, I'm getting more dark fruit notes, and I'm getting a little more bite. I'm getting some chocolate, dark chocolate. So what happened is while Masataka is in Scotland, wait, wait, you're Shinjiro getting, you're, Tour, you're getting more bite, like an alcohol bite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sh Shinjiro Tori uh, is uh, already distilling and he has plans to distill whiskey and when Masataka comes back to Japan Oh, the mooch necklace. Here's the thing. I usually don't bring this up. But the fact that you were sassing me. No, oh, now you're gonna mooch shit? Yeah. Masataka comes back to Japan and has nowhere to work and so he signs a contract with Shinjiro Tori. Uh, Shinjiro Tori hires Masataka to make whiskey. Well, the problem was that Masataka wanted to make Scottish style whiskey and they did and they released their first whiskey and it totally failed in the market. And still to this day, Yamazaki sort of specializes in the lighter, 
more nuanced and subtle white wine direction of, of whiskey. Okay, so I want you to try Hibiki Harmony mm. because this is the one that Brian. It's so good. This is the one that Brian Brushwood, yeah, Brushwood did this when he over chose at, this one. Over at Modern Rogue, we'll link it up here. Brian's Do awesome. Do you need a new glass? Okay, so this is the Hibiki Harmony. This is a blend Ooh. Uh, of whiskeys. Now, okay, here's the cool thing about Japanese whiskey. Um, in Scotland, you have blended whiskeys from all these different distilleries. Right. And they'll work with each other uh, through this reciprocity agreement where they can trade barrels and do blends and things. Yeah. Now, uh, and Japan doesn't really do that. And so what uh, Japan will do is they will have a dozen different ways of distilling whiskey Fine. I need in you, the same brewery. I need you to shut brewery. up. I need, in the you, same distillery. I need you to shut the up for, you're, for 12 seconds. So good. Based on the butter smell. Mm. I'm a bit aroused. <laughs> and I just, so I need to give you a moment. Just give me some space. I was just stomping all over I your moment. Personal space. If you know what I mean. It's a personal space. <laughs> no, I just see myself being slathered in butter and naughty things happening to me. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, it's very nice. <laughs> I, it was my favorite part of the video. It's it, very nice. Yeah, I love how enthusiastic he was about the whiskey because that's the kind of guy you want to drink whiskey with. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, anyway, so here's the thing. Yamazaki, all these distilleries will have a dozen different ways of distilling whiskey inside the same distillery, yeah. and they will use those to create things they can blend back together, create their own blends mm -hmm. in-house, right? And sometimes they'll even, if they own multiple distilleries, like for example, uh, Nika has the Yoichi distillery, but it has another one that right now is totally leaving my brain. I'm gonna say, if you're gonna get introduced to whiskey in general, as a category, you would not go wrong to start through the doorway of Japanese whiskey. And you should start with Suntory products. All right, finish that because I want to pour you the last Suntory product, which is Hakushu. Um, still in Suntory. So remember, Nika is the company, not a distillery. Ooh. Now, as we lead into Nika, I'm going to tell you a story about it. What do you think about this whiskey? Am I imagining the slightest bit of peat smoke? Oh, there's peat smoke in there's there. There's peat smoke in there. Now, what I don't know, and, uh, and Brian Love, you're going to have to remind me. Are they shipping in peat smoke, or uh, or what are they doing? I, but there's some smoke in there. I love the hell out of it. I'm going to say that Hakushu is my preferred, but that's because I actually like the heavier whiskeys. You like to get bent um, over and spanked. Of the Suntories, actually, I really freaking love the Hibikis. Now, of the Yamazakis, yeah. the 12 I preferred to the 18, even though the 18 is like four times as expensive. Is that the peat smoke one? No. It's Where's both. the peat smoke one? The peat smoke one's right here, the Hakushu. I like the Hakushu. That's my favorite so far. Okay. Now we're about to move into Nika. Masataka, after about a decade, up on the island of uh, Hokkaido, he moves up there, which sort of sends him way out in the middle of damn nowhere. But the reason he did it is because he had always eyed that part of Japan yeah. as having an almost identical climate to Scotland. And Masataka Takasuru was uh, an artist who wanted to try to recreate authentic Scottish whiskey in Japan. And so he found a similar climate to Scotland and he wanted to have a consistent water source. Because one of the things he found in whiskey production was that um, very often you would have a problem when your water source was compromised. And so he started making Scottish style whiskey. So when you get into the Nikas, you're entering more aggressive whiskeys. So Japanese is capable of doing uh, more aggressive and it's Hell not just... yes. Now I'm gonna pour you the Nika single malt from Yoichi that he did in the video. Yeah. Where's your glass? Well, I kind you of... You just poured more shit into it. right there. <laughs> that glass is super dirty. You really need to wash that. That's Yoichi your glass. That's your job. No, nah, that's not my Service job. me some. <laughs> what are you on your phone for? Comments. Oh my God. From our people. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, I, I'm telling you, I think Masataka's uh, Nika Distilleries, wow. they're, they're making stuff that's more our preference, and so we just entered our territory. So, one of the things I usually get in Japanese whiskeys more often than not... Oh, that's so good. ...is a really nice butter note. Yeah. With the uh, other whiskeys, it's also, it's usually presenting as like a caramel or a butterscotch. This is just straight up and down butter. Mm-hmm. Butter and then some kind of fruity sweetness to go with the butter. Yeah, so this one I get a little bit of dark dried fruit notes. Damn and it. by the way, damn it, which one was that? That was uh, this one right here. How good is that? The Nika Yo Whiskey Single Malt Yoichi. Yoichi, Yoichi Distillery. All right, so new favorite. It, just like that, new favorite. It was the Hakushu, now it's this one. And they're doing coal fired distillation. And now here's a mistake 
that PewDiePie kept making, but it's the kind of mistake I make all the time, which is sort of, you say one thing that's actually wrong, but anyone giving you the benefit of the doubt knows what you mean. Right. So he kept saying, these are not aged. Okay. And that's not true. All whiskeys aged. Did he? Yeah, he okay. said it like four or five times. All right. But what he meant, I think, was, because right. he knows, he knows that. Don't listen to those assholes who are picking apart that sentence. What he meant was a no age statement whiskey, which means it's definitely aged, but there's they didn't name the age of the whiskey. Like, so the Yamazaki 12 and 18, they named those. Shut but up. This one they didn't name. Shut your filthy mouth. I have a more important thing than the 57 million subscriber... What? PewDiePie talking about whiskey, which is amazing. Yeah, it is. I've been watching PewDiePie for years. This is bigger news. One of our viewers, Andreas Reitzel, the Whiskey Viking. Yo, the Whiskey Viking, yes. Yes, he's talking about how he was on this the largest Viking ship. He sailed on a Viking ship. The largest reconstruction of a Viking ship. He and he merged there. whiskey. And he merged whiskey. He says, yes, of course, you can join me and the rest of the crew on the Sea Stallion. What? If you ever find yourself in Denmark. Dude, we're done. We're there. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm going to be a Viking. That would be amazing. Yes. Okay. You, you do look like Ragnar, but <laughs> I'm Ragnar's... That's what I keep telling myself. Bigger, more handsome bro. <laughs> I get the you do look like Ragnar if Ragnar was a hobbit. <laughs> All right, so... Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to pour the only one that I completely disagree with him on. Okay. And not in a moral way, just in, I think you did this one a disservice for how completely different this whiskey is from every other whiskey he poured. Okay. Now, he poured the Nika Coffee Malt Whiskey. He correctly got the fact that the coffee is not coffee grain. It's from Aeneas Coffee, who invented the coffee patent call or the coffee still, sometimes known as the patent still, although Robert Stein did that, and sometimes known as the column still. Right. But it's malt. He said this was a blended whiskey. It may be a blend of whiskeys from their distillery, but malt means it's all barley. Oh, okay. So this is 100% barley. Now, I think that this whiskey tastes like maple syrup you would pour over pancakes. Hmm. It is so different than anything we've tried up till now. Well, I can't believe it. We even fall in the same category. And all he said was, oh, wow, that's really good, too. Different from Japan, because you'll get yes. maple from Canadian whiskey. From Canadian whiskey all the time. time. Yeah. Where's a glass for this? Well, I mean... Dude, you're just burning me out on glasses. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine glasses of whiskey all poured. Right. Yeah, you really do. Ten. Okay, so... You see what I mean when you smell this? Ooh. I, for him to smell this and drink it and not react viscerally as this being just a dramatically different whiskey, it either means he had had a lot of whiskey leading up to that point. <laughs> Which happens to us all the time. It just happens to us all the time. This is caramel. This is caramel and maple. Yeah. I really don't, I'm not a fan of this whiskey. If you now, distilled maple syrup. Here's what you should do. He says he really loves the barrel whiskey, the Nika barrel. Yeah. Um, what you should do is get the Nika coffee grain whiskey because for the price, it's a fantastic whiskey and far better than the malt, I think. All right, so how many have we gone through? We've gone through all the ones he went through. Fine. And for our regular whiskey crew, it's still on. Thank you for helping us hit 10,000. September 16th. September 16th. Live we're stream. We do the live stream on Saturday, 1 p.m. Austin, Texas time. Yeah, Central Standard for American time. Okay, so he finished with this whiskey I can't find uh, anywhere in Austin. Mm. So instead, what we're going to do is finish with two other Japanese whiskeys we have in the vault that he didn't try. Yeah, what is that? Now, my, my question for you is, do you prefer Suntory or Nika? Yes. No, no, that's not an answer. The best one. <laughs> which is because more, I have two. Which is more expensive. We could do the Nika uh, Miyagikyo. I have no idea how to pronounce that correctly. It's another distillery. So you know Yoichi what? is one you know distillery. I, I, I bet you. Because I'm racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so wrong. Okay. So Yoichi and Miyagikyo are two distilleries owned by Nika. Yeah. So this is the, where is it? This is the single malt from Yoichi. This is a single malt from Miyagikyo. I have this one. I haven't even opened it yet. Mm -hmm. I'm betting it's awesome. Or we also have the Hibiki 17, which is almost impossible to get your hands on in the US. Uh, I've had the Hibiki 17. Okay. I have not. So had you that. want to try this one? Yeah, I haven't had that. All right. 
And the, the Biggie the 17 one. is amazing. All right, let me get yet two more glasses. Fair enough. Terry Dolan, I don't get people that say, since finding your channel, my whiskey collection has grown by blah. Bullsh**! Since finding this channel, I've become friends with the stray cats at my local bottle bank. <laughs> I've been buying a bottle or two every week and have currently only gotten maybe three glasses of Ardmore left. How on earth is anyone building a collection? <laughs> <laughs> Terry, that's just because you're a giver. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. We're pouring the Mia Geekyo. You know what this smells like? Japanese whiskey. <laughs> it does, man. They're For science. Here's the thing. No, it's definitely a thing. Yes. Absolutely. They're doing a lot of similar stuff, but it's amazing stuff. Although it's I would really put it nice. in a similar category to a fruity Irish sort of uh, Deanston direction, maybe Balvenie. Okay, so uh, you know, wait, that's mild. Ooh, compared well, to the it, Yoichi, the Yoichi had character. There's and, a touch of smoke and pizzazz. There's a touch of smoke in there. There is, but it's so smooth. It is incredible. This smooth. may be one of the smoothest Nika uh, whiskeys I've ever tried. And uh, again, for people that are new to whiskey. Um, a lot of times they they think smooth is superior. Not necessarily. Uh, smoothness is just one of the options that a whiskey can give you. And, yeah. and when you get really into different kinds of whiskey, sometimes smooth is boring. You want something that's going to fight back. This yeah. is not going to fight with you. As, as Jeremy Grigg would say, this is angels singing you to your rest. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is spooning. Yeah. <laughs> this whiskey is spooning you. Okay, so we're going to finish this with our bone to pick. And then a cheers to anybody who's seeing this video All right, so who isn't already a part of our tribe. PewDiePie, you're fun and ridiculous and in the spirit of love. Yeah. The microscopic niche on YouTube of, of whiskey reviews mm -hmm. with one video with 57 million subscribers. Yeah, pulled back the curtain on Japanese whiskey. You made it impossible for us to buy Japanese whiskey, you bastard. Damn it! How dare you! From now on, it's going to be a scarcity problem, and it's so, all your fault. We should go out and buy as much Japanese whiskey as possible. Right now. Right now. Before the shit hits the fan. Yeah. <laughs> Other right. than that, thank you for bringing awareness to yeah. whiskiness. All right, and you're our people. Yeah. All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.